Good morning, Michael Feller here on Tuesday the 22nd of September for Deals TV on Business Spectator. And first up this morning, Laconia Resources, a small cap gold miner, has launched a $6 million IPO. Expect a lot more gold IPOs in the coming months. And it's an interesting time for IPOs as well with Kathmandu coming up and of course Maya having launched its prospectus to its loyalty card members. Uh, an interesting thing to note about the Maya deal is that uh, there's been a lot of shorting going on in David Jones stocks. So uh, it will be interesting to see how that pans out once Maya is formally listed. Elsewhere, uh, we're seeing a few deals going on in the rural space. First up, uh, Guns has uh, submitted a proposal to the administrators of Timbercore to uh, buy some or all of its assets. Uh, so uh, look out for details of that as it emerges. And also uh, the Sydney Morning Herald has suggested that AWB, uh, the former Australian Wheat Board, could be the uh, next company, the next major agricultural company to raise capital, following of course Elder's recapitalisation plan. There's also talk that AWB may sell its landmark rural services division to Elders to create a rural services monopoly, though that is unlikely, as we've said previously, to be supported by the ACCC. Uh, it's also uh, a potential possibility, rather, that uh, AWB could sell Landmark to ANZ or Rubobank, the European agricultural lender. That at least is what the, uh, the, the SMH suggests. Uh, elsewhere in the sector, we've heard a rumour that Alana family, the, uh, the Indian group who uh, bought uh, the cornerstone stake in AACO from Elders earlier this year, could be looking to buy more assets in Australia, whether that's equity in AACO or uh, something completely different. They, uh, they have uh, food and uh, agricultural investments across the Middle East, South Asia, and Southeast Asia. It's also interesting to note, of course, uh, the, the continuing interest from South Asia in Australia's uh, mining companies, especially coal mining companies. We should mention too that Crosby Capital, the Hong Kong-based bidder for Ray Resources, uh, which has gone against uh, Gujarat NRE, an Indian company, is in fact backed mainly by South Asian money. So one could even, even uh, see that bid as, uh, as coming as much from India as it's coming from Hong Kong. And uh, finally, uh, the Financial Review has reported that uh, uh, ABC Learning Centres could receive a, uh, a, an offer for 705 centres from a consortium of not-for-profit organisations, including Mission Australia. Uh, that, that consortium would be up against uh, characters including Michael Milken, the former junk bond, bond king, who is uh, thought to be interested in the uh, childcare centres as well. Anyway, that's all we've got time for this morning. I'll see you tomorrow.